All right, so I got the uh, I got the HP part working, and uh, the same program is uh, driving both displays. So um, I'll show you what I had to do to make the HP part work. Um, it also works with the Osram part, so I can leave the program uh, the, the way it is and uh, operate either part. Um, it had to come down to the timing signals, um, so all of the hardware was right. It was the software that wasn't uh, creating the right um, the right signal um, waveforms. So uh, let me show you the data sheet and uh, it's it's a bit strange. Um, I certainly wouldn't have designed a chip that operates this way but maybe that's what it was back in the old days but uh, certainly I think they uh, I don't think the design was correct. <laughs> I think anybody who knew microprocessors wouldn't have done it this way. All right, so uh, here's the timing diagram. And uh, you can see that this is the uh, address lines. Um, so which character you're gonna write to, uh, you know, addresses uh, uh, A0 through A4. Um, and then this is the chip select signal. And then this is the write signal and the, uh, the, data, the data lines. So, uh, basically says you can set up the address anytime you want to, but you have to do it before you chip select the part. And that's just totally bizarre. Um, but that's the way it is. And there's actually a hold period here. Uh, you need 10 nanoseconds uh, between settling the address lines and asserting the chip select. Um, so, uh, that's just very strange timing in... in uh, in 8-bit uh, land. Anyway, uh, I, of course I had the chip select uh, being fired right up front and just leaving it there. I figured just if you have the chip selected all the time then you can do anything you want to. Um, and that's just not true. You, could, you can't actually hardware chip select low. You couldn't drive this part. Um, it's totally bizarre. You actually have to have this inside the, uh, the address lines. So um, Previously, I had my subroutine that did the right pulse, and I just modified that so now it, it operates both of these. If you say uh, call right, it, it'll assert uh, chip select low, then it'll, chip, then it'll assert uh, right, Hot right goes high, and then chip select goes high. So all of this is, is in, contained in the, um, in the right subroutine now. And uh, uh, be, previously, I was always uh, changing the address before I did a right. So now when I do uh, the right, it does both chip select and write. And um, it doesn't matter when you set up the, uh, the data lines. Um, so uh, that just needs to happen uh, before you rise the edge of write. Um, it gets clocked in on the rising edge of, of the write pulse. Um, but anyway, uh, it works just great now. Um, and I can uh, go about my business.